Welcome to the New York Athletic Club. Today we'll chat with a couple of former NBA players, Marty Conlon and Eric Murdoch. They'll offer us their insights on the NBA. But first, we'll meet a man who has worked with both of them on and off the court. He's a coach, he's a scout, and he's a trainer. A true NBA jack of all trades, Milton Lee. Milton, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So you've had such a wide range of experiences in and around the NBA for the past 15 years. Yep. Can you tell us about it? Well, my first job out of college was being the sole intern for Dream Team 1 in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So I took Carl Malone to see boxing, I took John Stockton to the gymnastics finals, and I took Patrick Ewing and Chris Mullen to go work out at the country club. Okay, so that's pretty huge, right? For your first job as an intern, and you're, you're just coming in contact with all these huge names. They were all my idols. It was the best job ever. Yes! Stockton to Malone! I actually took a different route when I came back to the States and I went to work on Wall Street. About three and a half years ago, I left my job on Wall Street to dedicate myself to professional basketball full time. And I mainly focus on training NBA players. Mm -hmm. And so do you have a background in training? I study it, but it's not rocket science. <laughs> it isn't. You just gave up an industry secret here, Milton. <laughs> Who have been some of the best players you've worked with? Well, that's a pretty easy question. Number one is Dwayne Wade. Very professional, very serious once he got on the court, and also just a great guy. But I've had been lucky enough to work with a bunch of other really great pros. Richard Jefferson, Jay Williams, Ronaldo Bachman from the Knicks, Marcus Williams from the Nets, Andrea Bardnani, last year's number one pick. It's been a tremendous experience for me. So Milton, the news I heard about you is that you coached a team in China. Is That's that correct. You? I took the New York Athletic Club basketball team to China in the summer of 2005 and we played a few of the top local professional teams, including the Shanghai Sharks, which is where Yao Ming played as a young prospect. Well, I think I'm going to have to enlist in some of your coaching skills a little later because I'd like to play and I think you can probably shape me into hopefully number one draft pick overall one day. That's a deal. Okay. Thanks so much, Milton. Thank you. We'll be back with more NBA timeout right after this. Welcome back to NBA Time Out. We're here at the New York Athletic Club in New York City, and we just spoke to NBA insider Milton Lee. Now joining us is former NBA center and good friend of Milton's. This is Marty Conlon. Marty, thanks for joining us. Welcome. You had a nine-year career in the NBA. You played for eight different teams. What was that like? <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun, because I got to experience a lot of uh, great NBA coaches. First NBA team I played for, you know, NBA legend Casey Jones. So I was lucky to play for George Carl and Pat Riley, you know, two of the, I think, the finest NBA coaches there are. So during your NBA career, you actually played with a lot of big men who were at the top of their game. That's right. Olajuwon, Ewing, Robinson. Who is the toughest one to play against? I'd have to say Olajuwon by far. He was pretty much on that left block, he was unstoppable. Down to Akeem. Trying to turn baseline. He he wasn't that big, you know, he was about 6'11", but his footwork and his touch, you know, he was just an amazing player. And how about Shaq? Well, Shaq is just as effective, but from a completely different perspective, you know, because he's just so big and overpowering, you know, and his shoulders are so wide that he would guard him like on a wall. Only underneath, look out for him! He was just as effective as Elijah one, but a completely different player. He's been doing it for so long now, that's what I find amazing. You know, he's been dominant, but he's been dominant now for coming up to, what, almost 15 years. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, the longevity that he's had in the, uh, in the league. I know. Welcome back to the New York Athletic Club. We've spoken to NBA insider Milton Lee, former NBA big man Marty Conlon, and now we're going to talk to Marty's old teammate, both in college and in the pros, and also his good friend, Eric Murdoch. Eric, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. So, for Murdoch, seven on the shot clock, got the bucket again! Eric Murdoch, what a night! So you were drafted by the Utah Jazz, first round out of college. Yes. Tell me about that whole drafting experience. What is that like? With the 21st pick in the 1991 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select 
Eric Murdoch from Providence College. It's unbelievable. I had a TV in the house where I had, you know, family there watching it. It was just unbelievable. I mean, the happiest day of my life by far, man, just getting drafted because of the, uh, just the anticipation of getting drafted and fulfilling the dream. Murdoch for the drive. Murdoch got it back, kept his eye on the prize, and he got it down. You've played under some great coaches, Jerry Sloan, Mike Dunleavy, Pat Riley. Have any of them been true mentors to you? Jerry Sloan, I was a rookie. He's always tough on the rookies, but you know what? I learned work ethic, that you can't get satisfied. Playing for somebody like Coach Riley, he taught me a lot about being a professional. He was the greatest coach I've ever played for. Coach Dunleavy traded for me my second year in the league, and he gave me this team as a point guard to run the team, and uh, he was a point guard, so he mentored me as far as being a leader out there, communicating, being a motivator, and uh, it was just a great experience playing for all of those coaches. Do you have aspirations of coaching yourself? I do. Uh, I love the part of, of coaching. Uh, I've been a point guard all of my life, and I think as a point guard, you've always been the extension of the coach on the basketball floor, and you understand where guys have to be. You're the motivator, you're, you're the communicator, and uh, I feel like I embellish all of those qualities, and uh, I definitely want to take my coaching to the next level as far as the NBA is concerned. Eric, in your nine years with the NBA, you must have had some thrilling moments. Do any of those stand out? There's a few. I was with Milwaukee and I hit a three-quarter shot uh, in the game. And the ball goes in! It counts! Eric Murdoch! There was another play where I was running out of bounds and kind of threw the ball over my shoulder and went in the basket. Murdoch throws it up and it goes in! Eric Murdoch threw it up in the air from behind the glass and it went in! Well, I know you're gearing up to be a coach and tonight you're going to get to test those skills out. So I'm going to be your protege. Is that cool? That's cool. Let's do it. All right. Okay. We're going to play some basketball when NBA timeout returns. Welcome back to NBA timeout. Okay, you guys have taught the game, played the game, coached the game. Now you're going to teach me the game. So what position do you guys see me as? Point guard. Point guard. Point guard. Okay, so Mr. Point Guard, you're going to teach me how the game is done. So what are you going to teach me? We're going to teach you the pick and roll. Pick and roll. Mari rolls the basket. Master the basket. All right, so I'm going to be Steve Nash. You're going to be Steve Nash. Nice. I'm going to be Amari Stoudemire. There are four things you want to think about when you're executing the pick and roll. All right, what do you think? The first is you want me to run into Amari Stoudemire's chest at a 90 degree angle. And Amari takes it home! The three options are one, hit the picker on his roll, go around it. He'll throw it up to Stoudemire for the alley. Two, get an open shot for yourself. Nash uses a screen by Stoudemire. And three, String the play out and then kick to the opposite wing. Jason Terry has at least 30 points in both of those games. Stoudemire, it is a five. What call this play fist? Fist. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, big man. Come on, come on. Nice pass. All right. <laughs> Good job. Chest bump. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was so awesome. Let's check the instant replay. It's like Let's Steve Nash. Great job. Thanks, coach. All right. Nice. Good job, everybody. Good All right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Just look out. Come on, MVP again. One more time, right? 